Welcome to Unity Principles. This is a new series on how things work inside Unity and the why behind using Unity. This is me. I go by Board Mormon on the forums if you want to look me up. As you can see, I'm a coder, not an artist. We won't be touching much on the art pipeline in this series, but instead we'll spend time on how to code games and how to code them well. In this episode, we're talking about how to structure entities. On the screen is the traditional inheritance structure. Let's step through this. At the top of the tree, we have our base entity class. As you can see from the picture, there's not much to an entity, but it's a collection of the functionality that is needed by all of our characters. Inheriting from the entity class, we have a human class. The human class further defines the entity into something recognizably human and has all of the functionality that is common to all humans. Also inheriting from the entity class is an alien class. This class encompasses a different set of functionality that is common to all aliens. Stepping down further, we have a soldier. Note that underneath he is still a regular human. We have also added combat boots and a gun and a tin hat, all functionality unique to soldiers. Another class that inherits from human is the medic. The medic is still a human being underneath, but they also have a doctor's hat and bag. Seems like a good idea so far? Let's continue down the alien side. Aliens get injured too, so let's create a medic here. Turns out alien medics also use a doctor's hat and bag. If you are watching closely, you've seen a problem. We have this medic functionality defined in two places. This is bad. One day, you'll rewrite the human medic code and forget to update the alien. You'll have introduced all sorts of hard-to-spot bugs into your code. Again, this is bad. This is not the way to do things in Unity. Inheritance has its time and its place, and we'll get to that in a future video. But it's not the first tool you should reach for when designing your entities. So what do we do instead? Unity is based around component design. Each game object has a number of components attached. The components drive its behavior. Let's look at our human again and see how we might build him up with a component-based design. The first component we will add is a human. This defines how a human moves and behaves. Then we will add a gun component for a gun, a component for combat boots, and finally we will add a component for the tin hat. Now let's explore the power of component based design for a bit. Let's say I want to make an alien soldier. All I do is replace the human component with an alien component and we have a functioning alien soldier. If I then want to make a medic, it's simply a matter of changing out a few components. Note that with this approach, you could easily arm a medic with a gun, or any other combination of weapons you can think of. Let's say I want to make a change to how a medic works. Because I'm using the same code across all of my medics, I can now just make the change once, and not need to worry about updating it in multiple places. Thanks for watching! If you like what you see, like and subscribe, post it in the comments. If you don't like what you see, write about that in the comments too.